Hello, today. So today we are going to um. I'm gonna give you a tutorial. Actually, it was Corel Video Studio XD Pro. This is the thing I used to edit all my videos. And we are gonna show you how to do a muzzle flash effect. So first off, you want to like record you um shooting a gun or something make sure the gun doesn't make any noise just use some recoil so it doesn't interrupt with the muzzle flash for this you're going to need two layers and you're going to have to put the um, main foot the raw footage on the top layer and the other footage the muzzle flash in the bottom layer so I'm going to go off here and I'm gonna try and find the foot a footage some footage of um me shooting Matthew. Alright, this will be perfect. No, I don't wanna delete that. Go back up here. Original file doesn't exist. Relink. So I'm gonna have to try and find it again. Now I'm cutting this bit out. Alright, we're back. So apparently we couldn't use the footage that we were going to use because I deleted that from my folder. So basically, I'm just going to take this footage from a future video that we'll be doing of me firing my gun. Just going to put that a bit bigger so you can see. Alright, put that back down to the size, and having some Doritos here. Alright, so far, after he, after your actor, make sure your actor has some sort of kickback to like mimic the real room. Like I do here, so yeah, it's actually kind of crucial. So I'm gonna go back to where kicks back starts. Right here is where it starts. So then I'm gonna drag oh no. Ah, just a little glitch here. Go down to photo and drag your muzzle flash in. gonna put it down to one frame long. You're gonna wanna make the um you wanna resize it. Make sure it's actually pretty big so like it looks more badass. Right this size should be enough for a rifle. I'm gonna go with a mask and chroma key right here. And I'm gonna apply overweight over overlay options and that basically takes away the back background. So, basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on your other footage, cut it, go one frame ahead, then cut it again. So you want to click on your one frame footage, go to options, video, and color correction, go over here, over the brightness. I like to kick it around like between 70 and 80, like 
74, 75, something like that. Usually does me fine. And then if you have Corel Video Studio Pro X3 and not X4 or 5, because I don't know if they have this um, type of sound effect. If they do, you can just like download some stock footage off the internet. You, some of them are lower quality if they're free, but get some free high definition ones, which are pretty good. So I just wanna, I think it's S21. Yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna like put it up high. Didn't hear that. Alright, play that again. Alright, I think you heard that one. So basically, you're gonna drag your sound effect in. Make sure that when the flash actually starts, your cursor is right about, is like here or here. One frame back would do fine, but any more would look kind of on would look at kind of unrealistic. So you want to, yeah, that looks good. So let's actually play the footage. Go back to the start. And let's see how it looks. And that looks pretty good, the way it is. I don't have any smoke because I don't have stock footage. You might be seeing smoke soon. But if you get like really good and use to it, you might be able to do something well like this. Alright, so that's it guys. Hope you'll be able to use this to your advantage in future videos. So, that's it. And I'll see you later.